One is a number, two is a number, therefore one equals two. The only bears I've ever seen live in zoos, therefore all bears live in zoos. Roosters always crow before the sun rises, therefore rooster crowing causes the sun to rise. I cannot imagine how a huge tree can come from such a teeny acorn, therefore trees do not come from acorns. All of these are examples of logical fallacies or arguments that use some form of flawed reasoning. Hopefully the errors in these examples are rather obvious, but this is mostly because the conclusions are so clearly wrong. Unfortunately, detecting these logical flaws is much more difficult in everyday situations when the conclusion is not so obviously wrong. This is especially true if you already believe or want to believe the conclusion is true. In certain cases, like advertising, Logical fallacies are sometimes even purposefully used despite the offender knowing better because they can be so deceptively convincing. For this reason, everyone should become familiar with these known fallacies, especially some of the more common ones. They are essential knowledge to help you detect and avoid being tricked by bad arguments. This will undoubtedly reduce the chances of you believing things that are not true and therefore will also help you to discover what is actually true. Because they are established errors in logic, an argument that is shown to contain a logical fallacy is its immediate defeat. It's sort of like finding out a mathematical proof relies on a basic arithmetic error. There's no recovery unless the argument can be shown to not rely on a fallacy. It is important to note that a logical fallacy only invalidates the argument using it. It doesn't automatically prove its conclusion false. That's actually another fallacy in itself. The conclusion might in fact still be true, but we now need to find a valid argument without a fallacy to support it.